some facts about aromatic pipe tobacco you might be interested in. Hi, this is John from Switzerland. Happy Meerschaum Monday. Nanook is in uh, action here again with some Lane Limited Burley uh, without a bite. And yes, it's true, it has no bite so far. <laughs> So, and today, like I said, um, I'd like to do sort of a aromatic pipe tobacco special because I received some very interesting questions regarding aromatic pipe tobacco. To start with the question, is there a problem when I store unopened aromatic pipe tobacco too long? Mm. No, <laughs> the simple answer on that. But um, as soon as you open an uh, aromatic pipe tobacco you have stored for quite a long time, sort of an accelerated aging process, um, seems to be started then so that means it can be there is the possibility that the tobacco may taste awful within a few days so i've heard it already uh, from a friend of mine he had a long um stored tin of a pipe aromatic pipe tobacco and he opened it up and at first the first I think two days it was great it was brilliant he had no words to describe it but with uh, on the on the third day he said it, it was gone it was suddenly gone and I made the experience um, by myself with an opened tin from a really high, high, high aromatic tobacco. It was the Black Rose from um, Huber in Munich. So the tin was open about, I think, at least one and a half year and it was absolutely no problem. There was no difference in the taste. The tobacco was delicious. It wasn't dry or anything and I just left it in the original tin. So without uh, any help to keep it moist or whatever, nothing. And then out of the blue, from one day onto the other, the taste was gone. It was gone. It was nothing left, <laughs> really. It was harsh and it was, yeah, it was so. You can store aromatic tobaccos, but I won't recommend it, so to put it in that way. And, but I think probably it could be the same with non-aromatic, but I think the, the risk um, is much higher with aromatic tobaccos, of course, because yeah, they are aromatics. Um, next question was, why do aromatics always smell different than they taste? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Nanook has to get back to his basket here. I, I can't manage smoking and rambling. So, yeah, why do aromatics always smell different than they taste? Um, because our nose is the better tongue. <laughs> yeah, um, that's a medical um, background here. So we can distinguish seven different smells, but only five different tastes and only um, through the interaction between our um, tongue and our sense of smell we are able to to taste something so that means without our sense of smell we would also uh, eat spoiled food because only the nose can recognize these things and then of course um, I have to look here for the 
next question. No, regarding to the same question. So um, you have to know there are different qualities of aromatic pipe tobacco. So there are the high quality aromatics are soaked within flavor and the poor quality ones are only sprayed within flavor. So that's that's really a difference. So a really good aromatic um, is inserted into the aroma, into the flavor for some time, I think at least for several days. And like I said, poor quality aromatics are only sprayed with a flavor. So that's why the, the flavor is gone very, uh, very soon on a, this this kind of tobaccos and that's also a difference between yeah I'm sorry I have to say this um, American aromatics and for example Danish or European aromatics um, in the American aromatic pipe tobaccos very often there there are also uh, yeah I have to think of the word now um, Yeah, f uh, there are there are often used fire accelerators for a better combustion, and you can taste these accelerators as well. So um, I've seen it in in Switzerland uh, once too that a tobacconist sprayed fire accessor, uh, accelerator on the on the tobacco, and then uh, when I saw that, I was like okay i won't buy any tobacco here anymore <laughs> well at least no aromatics but um the longer i smoke pipe the more i i'm like i don't really enjoy aromatics anymore so because when you mix different non-aromatic tobaccos definitely you'll get such a great taste that you think hey that's th that must be an aromatic but it's not so and that's why i meanwhile prefer really natural tobacco straight virginias or with a bit kentucky or burley of course i'm a burley guy no perique <laughs> yeah i have to mention this again not now maybe yeah well when i We'll get older. Who knows? Maybe some uh, day I will also enjoy Perique, but not at the moment. So, but a really dark fired Kentucky or a straight Virginia with this dark bread or or a, a real good burly with this dark chocolate note. Who needs aromatics anyways then? So that's my recommendation. Try really good non-aromatic tobaccos and mix them deftly and then you'll get the brilliant brilliant uh, most brilliant tobaccos uh, you can buy anywhere good example this lane limited burly without a bite I could swear there is a nut flavor but it's not to my knowledge so it's really a natural tobacco but it tastes like a flavored one a mild flavored one of course so that's my knowledge to aromatic pipe tobaccos if there are any further questions please don't hesitate to ask them i'd be pleased to answer them personal questions yes of course i think we have the time um what kind of music do i enjoy um i think we have uh, enough noise pollution already on this planet so i really if i listen to music i really like to listen to music so not to noise so that means for me 
heavy rock music or metal or whatever this is called that's only noise to my ears so I enjoy really dance music I told you already my wife and I we are dancers we love to dance and that means uh, music from the 70s even earlier 60s 50s maybe Glenn Miller of course um, 80s so music dance music when ballroom dance music if you like so that's music I enjoy yeah but only when I feel like I'm I'm no person who wants to have a non-stop background noise so we don't have a radio at home we don't have a television at home um, I enjoy my music uh, on Spotify so when I like to listen then I sit down and really listen so I then I don't do anything else and just have this background noise so that's not uh, it increases the stress level um, very much but yeah I don't want to get too medical now here. So that was my Mirsham Monday for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, for your new questions down in the comments. Until we meet again, enjoy your week. Bye, says John from Switzerland.